You know, I haven't done a ginger song in a while and I'm getting a few comments here going like, hey, what about ginger? So, sure, all right, let's do some more ginger. Here is a ginger song called Home Back, which I've never heard before. This is gonna be the music video. It's four minutes and 50 seconds long. Uh, I've enjoyed ginger in the past. They are very accomplished uh, musicians and they have some really cool moments. So I'm hoping for some more of that and we'll see. And go. Time signature on this. Very hard to follow the uh Little symbol moments. Nice. Lovely pingy sound of that bass. Great screen vocal. My head's still not figured out that time signature. It's crazy. Those floor tiles sound great. Nice and deep. This is nice. I love the choice that was screaming that moment. Sing again. So far, it's fucking my favorite Disney song I've heard. Ooh, that bass. Yes. Stroman knows what he's doing, man. Bit of cross stick. A shaker. Nice harmony. Busy snare, subtle. This is really nice. Hey, buddy. The scenery in this video is reminding me of like with the War Mine, War Machine, Destiny Raid with Axis. Such a low growl. Punches the drums and the uh, the guitars there, and that low growl, crazy. All right, 
that everything? Yeah, that's everything. Hey, uh, I enjoyed that. I think that might be my favorite Ginger song I've heard. It's because it's, they are quite prog in their metal. So there's crazy time signatures and when they want to have them, busyness on bass and guitars. Um, structurally, the song doesn't necessarily go the way that you might expect. So it's quite hard to follow on a first time listen. But that one for me had a little bit more of gentleness to like, hey, we're, you know, we'll let you enjoy this part of the song and then we'll go to the next part. And it's kind of, it sort of signposted it a little bit better for my own personal brain. A um, bit more groove to it. I liked the kind of to and fro between her singing melodic uh, lines and then going into the, the scream and going back and forth. That I enjoyed, the sort of dichotomy. If that's the right word, I don't know. I love using words I don't know the definitions for because it's a gamble, and why not? Um, again, I noticed that their guitarist doesn't do that much to stand out, right? He's very good at writing guitar uh, riffs and the rest that support the song's vibe and the music, but he's not kind of going there and showing off. Doesn't stand out the same way that, say, the bass guitar stands out with some of their choices, uh, which I love. I love it when a bass guitarist does something unique and interesting and I can pay more attention to that. But yeah, the guitarist serves the music very well. The drummer, similarly, um, quite busy, but doesn't lose sight of what's important to make sure the groove is there. There was a moment when, later on, there was uh, busy snares, right? He was kind of doing 16ths on the snare, but you could, you could barely hear the 16th extra notes because the main accent of the groove is the one he hit the hardest. Everything else was quite uh, delicate and in the background. Um, so they're very thoughtful with how they construct their pieces so that they give you enough you can follow the groove when it's there for the like five seconds they stick with one groove before doing something completely different. Um, but there's plenty of decoration. So the more you listen to these songs, I'm sure the more you can enjoy all the layers that they have to offer. But um, I very much enjoyed that. I thought that was good. Well done, Ginger. Thank you for the recommendation for those that said I should check out Homeback. That was a very good song. Uh, all right, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, and you wanna see more from me, feel free. Otherwise, have a wonderful day, and perhaps I'll see you in another video.